What are you doing? Chewing on your feet again. Oh, hey, everybody. I'm going to do a video about how not to blow stuff up on your bench. Or how not to blow up stuff on your bench. Whatever way is appropriate. Look at all these amplifiers I've tested, reviewed. <laughs> the cat just shot off running. Yeah, I had a few questions come up in the comments about how do I hook up my scope and not damage the bridged amplifier or somebody has tried to test their board and they shorted the amplifier out. So yeah, I'm going to do a little video about that. I just have to pick a couple amplifiers out to use. I use this. This is one of the best Class D boards I've tested. And where'd that other one go? This one here, what is it? 7297 board. So I'll use these. So here's the issue. Let's say you're hooking up an amplifier's output across the scope to probe its output signal. Let's say you're measuring power or something. Of course, on this side, you're hooking up the power supply to the power connectors on the amplifier. Well, with most of these, or a vast majority, uh, at least with these Class D boards, they have what's known as bridged outputs. What's going on, you know, in this example, this is a single channel amplifier. But inside, there's actually two amplifiers. The signal is inverted and sent into one amplifier, and the signal is sent to the other, not inverted or uninverted. One output's connected to one output point here, and the other output's connected to the other output connection. You notice they have plus and minus on the terminal, and that's mainly for phasing use. So you know if you connect the plus of this to the plus of the speaker, it'll be in phase with other amplifiers where you're connecting its plus to positive on another speaker, so you know that they're all in phase. In an ideal world, you're hoping that they did label these correctly. But the point here is that these outputs are not ground reference. They're both floating outputs, and you don't want to connect these to ground. But what happens here, you're connecting one side of the scope, which is grounded. However, that is not usually a problem because most power supplies output will be floating. However, there are cases where the outputs are ground referenced. Now most power supplies like these here that I have, and see they have a grounding terminal. And same up here with my old Radio Shack supply. Well, the outputs of both of these supplies are floating unless you connect the ground to one of the terminals here. Same here. If I connected this ground to one of these terminals, the outputs would no longer be floating. They would be ground reference. What's going to happen is, because these outputs are floating, and you connect one to the ground clip on this probe lead, which I'm showing here, this ground lead, well, you're shorting this one output to ground, and it's going to travel up the probe leads shield through this shield on the scope, this outside part of the connector. And current can flow to ground and back through the supply lead and into the amplifier, and you're shorting out. Now, of course, that is if this ground connection is made here. And that can short out the output of the amplifier. In some cases, you will damage the amplifier. In other cases, because of the amplifier's internal 
uh, over current protection it might save the amplifier sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't especially with a direct current short it may not save the output it depends on the circuit protection scheme they used inside the chip a lot of them are designed to protect just the AC short circuit across the terminals not a DC short to one of the power terminals another scenario that is hazardous and potentially deadly is the hot chassis or live chassis type situation where one side of the electrical supply or mains is connected to the ground or actual metal part of the chassis sometimes the plug is not polarized and depending how it's inserted into the outlet that ground side of the chassis can become hot and if you go to probe it with your scope if you connect that ground of the scope lead to the chassis and it's hot you instantly cause a short circuit because the shield side of the scope is grounded and it goes without saying that this is an electrocution hazard because it's live in this case it pays to use what's known as an isolation transformer that breaks that live connection to the electrical supply or mains and also reduces the potential of electrocution okay for a quick demonstration I have this meter connected to the the shield or ground side of the connector here on the scope and connected to one of the output leads on the supply and this supply is turned on you can see it's showing open now if I move this lead over to the ground now it's showing a very low resistance 0.9 ohms actually dropping as it settles in okay to demonstrate the point about the bridge amplifier circuit I mentioned earlier I have the TDA 7297 hooked up to a supply and has its blindingly bright blue LED going so if I measure the supply voltage here I'm connected to the supply there which is connected to the amplifier supply input we get 14 volts and I should have roughly half the supply voltage showing at each output why the amplifier is sitting idle 6.54 so on the other terminal 6.54 uh, this is a stereo amp so it has a second channel here 6.47 and 6.49 so all the outputs are above the ground that's on this board so if you connected one of these outputs to ground you'd be shorting out one of the amplifiers on the channel and that's also why you don't use a common return ground line for the speakers on a stereo amp okay well I hope this was of some help and I thank you for watching